All right, we're getting we're getting ready here to start the second half, and uh, they're moving this right along, Paula, because uh, Nauset naturally has to get back on that boat, so they have to get this over. What do we have coming up here on the girls' hey. side? Right now, we're going to be watching the five foot. No. Hundred butterfly. Sorry about that. Can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, right now, it's the start of the five hundred free. No, no, we're at the hundred butterfly. Oh, excuse me, we are on the hundred butterfly. I'm looking at the five hundred free. My, my, we've got to be thinking that way. Right now, we are in the ladies' one hundred butterfly. Nicole Gottlieb in lane five, Isabella Roberts in lane three, and Audrey Snell in lane one. And from what I've been reading in the paper, Isabella Roberts, I believe she just set a school mark um, on the women's side in the 200 yard IM in a time of 2 19 50. So we want to congratulate her on that. Yeah, and she's she's only a freshman and a good one. She's qualified for states, but right now this gal from Nassau. She was uh, she was the swimmer of the week last week. Against Pope John, she had the uh, the 50 and in this race here also she did well in Swim of the Week. Yeah, I've heard I've heard good things about Isabella Roberts as an up and rising swimmer, but first place in the 100 butterfly is going to Nas with a time of 103.08. Second place, Isabella Roberts, I believe she's only a freshman, 104.74. She's got to have a great career ahead of her at Nantucket High and beyond it if she chooses to stick with swimming. Nice swim. And third place going to Nas at the time of 106.11. So Nantuck picks up seven points here to go to 47. Nossa picks up nine to go to 34. I don't think Nossa can uh, get back from that disqualification and make up these points here. So no, and, and that, that is most definite DQ. On now we have some controversy here. They're not getting the girls out of the water. Oh, here they come now. They held them in the water there for a minute. You know what I'm thinking is one of the pads is not showing up. If you look up at the scoreboard when you're touching it, it's not. Well, they haven't put any scores up on the scoreboard there. Not scores, excuse me, the times. The times have a little bit off too. Yeah. Right now we're going to be looking at the men's side of the 100 butterfly. Jacob Aloisi in his third event of the day will be in lane five. Henry Blackwell in lane three and Emmett Daly in lane one. These boys have got to be tired, Dick. Island Lumber, one Popus Road, go wheels, rain or shine, Island Lumber is always on time. And check out Visitor Network TV, channel, Nantucket Channel 99, where to shop, dine, stay, events, fun facts and trivia, real estate activities, getting around, streaming 24-7 on smartphones, tablets, and TV. Check them out on www.viznet.tv. School record in the 100 flies held by Dylan Wallace in 55-35. I don't think we'll see that record go down today. That's been a long-standing fly record. Incredibly fast, four lengths of the pool. This Remember the trick with the butterfly tick is undulation. How you're kicking, how you're bringing those shoulders out of the water. The un uh, un undul you lost me at undulation. Undulation. With the, can you, undulation. Can you, it's when you're, you're kicking like a dolphin. Kicking like a dolphin. Many times I bet the dolphin. I bet the dolphins know more about that than I do, that's for sure. Well, if you know, if you kind of watch how a dolphin swims, that, that playful freestyle, the way they bring their upper body out. Great way to train a butterfly is, you know, take a rope tied around their ankles, make sure they're using that kick correctly. Really powerful kick. Now we have a delay here of something. It has to be something to do with the uh, the times there, Paula. They're, they're keeping the boys out and they're checking, so. I forgot how warm it gets in here. It does, wow. yes. Oh, I hate seeing this. Yeah, they haven't, they haven't seeing this because from a mental standpoint it just takes away that whole edge you have going when you're on that block you're ready for that gun whistle to go yeah these uh, kids are ready to go and again it has to be something uh, mechanical with the uh, score there the old Colorado timing system now they, they're gonna back up here in a hurry though so that helps Remember, start is critical in this Maddock at Marine, go Whalers, Maddock at Marine. Right now it's Nantucket 1, Nasa 2, Nantucket 3. Jacob Aloise is in the lane lead, excuse me, in lane 5, followed by Nasa and Henry Blackwell in lane 3. And although aesthetically he might not have the butterfly down 
correctly as, as far as timing and how to be fast in the pool. He's doing a nice job in lane five and in lane three. Henry Blackwell's coming out of the water cleaner, but Jacob Aloisi's the newcomer is clearly strong in this event. And right now it's a one-two Nantucket show tick in the 100 butterfly. Jacob's using a lot of energy in lane five. I just hope he doesn't uh, wear himself out. Yeah, he wants to really learn to rotate those shoulders, dig a little bit deeper, but boy, he's one strong athlete in the water. But Henry Blackwell's gonna get the edge, and Jacob Aloisi in second place. It's a one-two Nantucket finish. I didn't see that one coming in the, no. in the fly, but we'll take it. Big points here for Nantucket. Nantucket gets a one-two and a four. Actually, Jacob Aloisi, I take it back, he gets first place in lane five at the time of 104.75. Henry Blackwell gets second in 105.11, and third is Nasa 105.34. Nice swim. Jacob must have just come on just a little touch, a nanosecond quicker, and touched that wall, which I did not recognize. Great swim. Wait till he gets, wait till he gets his arms going in that proper momentum for the butterfly. He's going to be, he's going to be unstoppable. Nice job. Well, I mean, this is starting to be a, a blowout right now. Nantucket is just piling up points here. The, on the boys' side, I have them uh, 57 to 34. And again, who would have saw that coming? It, we're talking about it being uh, close. If Norset is uh, saving things, they, 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 they better start using them because they're getting themselves in a deep hole here. Absolutely. Coming up next is the 100 freestyle on the ladies' side. We are going to be looking at... The Lady Whalers, who you're saying, are swimming quite well tonight, Dick, in this much anticipated event. Alex Shannon in lane five, Dakota Dragon in lane three, Isabella Day in lane one. Harbor Fuel Oil Corporation, over 40 years of dependable service, peace of mind, Harbor Fuel automatic fuel delivery setup, senior prices. Budget programs, give Hop a few a call, 228-2411. Right now, this race is too close to call. I mean, two, three, four, and five look pretty strong to me. I'm gonna give the nod to the girl in Nausicaa, lane four. She's starting to open this up. She is smooth, steady, and solid. And she came off that wall nicely. Notice how far she came off that wall. Alex Shannon was whale of the week two weeks ago, Paula, just for this race. in the 100 free as they head for home. But not by much. She's really being challenged by Dakota Dragon and Alex Shannon in this event. But it's gonna be Nossett one, two, Nantucket three and four. So Nossett just picked up two, two critical positions there, Dick. Nantucket got a three, four, five though. So that five, Nossett has, an, oh, Nossett does have a swimmer in there. So the three, four, five for Nantucket, but Nossett picks up 10. Nantucket gets a 6. So Nasa closes the uh, gap there a little bit. Now it's Nantucket 53 to 44. But again, Nantucket only has this lead. We keep, ha keep having to mention the disqualification. Let's see if Nasa can really overcome that. It's a big thing to overcome. But right now they're getting themselves back in play here where they can make a run at it. You keep it under under double digits, Paula, and one race can you can you can sweep a race and, and turn it right around. Well, I think that's what we're seeing. Plus, we've got five events to go, so anything is possible in the second half of the event. Right now, we're watching, getting ready to watch the 100 free Shane O'Connor in lane five, Gus Day in lane three, and Carter Cool in lane one. All three have been swimming strongly this season, Dick. Right now, I'm giving the nod to lane three with Carter Cool, lane four to Nossett. goalkeeper position for the uh, the way that was this follow at a really strong soccer program that I enjoyed covering with you and it's great to have Carter in the pool but right now Carter Cole is in the lead by almost half a body length Dick if he can hold on to this I think this would be a huge upset for Nantucket. It, it would be yes I, I, the boys are really swimming well here portions of this race brought to us by the Seagrow Nantucket's a sink of seafood restaurants for all season the uh, Seagrow closed for now, opening Valentine's Day. Unbelievable. Tommy Point for Carter Cool. This place better go crazy. That is a huge upset by him. Nice swim. 
So Nantucket gets a first, a fourth. Actually, I've got to take this back. It's not Carter Cool in lane three, it's Gus Day. Gus Day in first place with that swim, 55-87. They must have switched the order of swimmers here. I apologize, I have in paper in front of me. That was Gus Day smoking in lane three, 55-87. Great swim. Nossett in second place at the time of 56-93. Third place, lane five for Nantucket was Shane O'Connor with the time of 103.92. Carter Clue in fourth, 103.93. Nice job. I had him a, uh, the points come out 8-8 split there, so that doesn't hurt the boys. They're still sitting comfortably with a 65-42 lead. The, the 500's coming up. The 500's brought to us by Congan and Coleman Insurance, specializing in personal commercial lines of insurance. Auto home, marine business. Congan and Coleman established 1931 down at 57 Main Street. Right now it's the start of the ladies 500 free. Lauren Brissett in lane five, a freshman. She's risen through the ranks of the Dolphin program. Um, she's looking strong in the pool. I'm pretty impressed. Lane three, Ashley Wilson, a senior, and Willow Kane in lane one. 20 lengths of the pool, Dick. Lots to chat about. Uh, well, this is... I'm, I may just take a nap here now. And, and so if not. you if you ask if you ask me questions and you hear me dozing off, just don't don't wake me up until they they have the gun lap. Is the lady here with the gun? She didn't make it over. No, I, I miss my buddy with my buddy lady with the gun. She always put the fear, of, you know what, in me. <laughs> five hundred free school record is held by Caitlin Ellis in five thirty five thirteen. Who recently got married? Congratulations, Caitlin. I don't think we're going to see any records go down today, but I do know on the men's side, the boy swimming for Nosset is swimming this fast in an incredibly fast time, I've been told. So uh, it'll be interesting to see in the next event as we fast forward to the boys. Listen to this. this I, I got this in Sports Illustrated this week, Paul. A, a girl by the name of Danielle Knack from Madison, West, uh, Minnesota. She's a senior. She swims for the Mercado West High... Uh, school and she said meet records look at these times and then look up at our board the hundred butterfly in the nationals at greenbow in north carolina she did a 52 44. wow she holds the state record in the hundred fly at a 52 41. Oh. and she holds the class 1a mark in in minnesota look at this one in the 53 22 82. unbelievable that's those are incredible, incredible and she times. won her third straight 1A title in both events this year, so she is the uh, top high school swimmer. I'd have to say, if not in the state of Minnesota, in the country, she she have a bunch of colleges probably looking for her to come there to swim for them. Those incredible times in the pool. That that is incredibly fast. Right now, as we are at the going to the seventh length of the pool, it's Nas at one two, followed by Nantuck at three four. Plenty, plenty of time left in this event. You just want to be nice, relax. Streamline comes back to play. Yeah, you, 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 you want to finish this event. That's that's what it is. It's all about finishing it. Yeah, and you know, when you get up to the 13th or 14th lap, and then if you're ahead, you 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 want to stay there and, and win it. So you're getting excited about the Olympics coming up, Dick, in the next couple of weeks? The Olympics are going to be fun. Yes, I'm get, really getting excited about it. So I don't know if I'm more excited about that or the Patriots playing on Sunday. It's a well, little I'm, bit of I'm both. certainly, I'm, well, I'm certainly more excited about the Patriots yeah. playing because it's this Sunday. The you know, Olympics are still a little bit way down the line. All the, uh, all the players haven't been chosen yet. You know, all the, all the skiers and whatever. They'll well, be, Lindsay they'll be Bonazzo, which you know disappoints me, but she, I think she had a torn ACL. She tried racing about a month ago and she blew out her knee not once but twice, so she's gone. I think that's going to hurt the United States, but I love Winter and Summer Olympics. I, I'm glued. Yeah, the, win the Winter Olympics the, uh, starts in a month, as you said. A, a fellow by the name of Henry Dion, he lived from 1840 to 1900, was a popular Dominican preacher. And he's known for sermons, and his message always supported the athletes, and so it was a part of the, the, the Olympic cause. And he had a friend who actually coined the symbol for that we see in the symbol. I just wrote an article about that. Right, yeah. It's, well, actually, you know who, who referred to that Olympic ring was um, psychologist... Father Carl Dean's Carl. friend, Pierre de Coul, the father of the modern Olympics. March 17, 1881, described a talk, and he, he, he focused on a self-improvement discipline of the swimming, and uh, that the, that's the symbol that the Olympics uses well, do you know now. what the, the Olympic rings, what the symbol means? 
First, uh, I, I did know, no, tell me again. Con continuity. Okay, here they are here. The priest spoke of faster, higher, stronger. So, huh. so forth. So, these three words here. Oh, in Latin. Faster. Was it a Latin? Citrus, faster, ultras, higher, fortis, stronger. Huh. So, that's... that's. And I think all combined, intertwined, it's, it's to signify continuity. Yes. But it's interesting. Be, yeah. The, you know, the, the connection between the, the Olympics competing and the... the the, the religion aspect of bringing bringing that all in together it's very interesting absolutely right now in the women's 500 freestyle event we are looking at Nasu in first and second place followed by Nantucket 3-4 not much has changed there 3-5 to five lengths of the pool to go depending on what swimmer you're cheering on This is the one event I would never want to swim with it. It's a uh, gruel. It's a gruel. It, it's very monotonous and it's gruel. I mean, yeah, imagine not only swimming this, imagine practicing for it. I mean, uh, what do you do? Get in one one lane of the pool, everybody else is practicing and just do it for an hour? I don't know. How it's long like, can you do it for? It's like training for a marathon. You just got to work on that. You know, you cardio intake, your oxygen intake, your stroke, just that continuity in the pool, but after a while that monotony, monotony, excuse me, would get to me. Nasset finishing in first place in lane four with a time, check this out, a 538.08. That's less than three seconds off the school record that Caitlin Ellis set at 535.13. So this, this gal in lane four is clearly state so what did, what did, material. So what did Nantucket get on that? Uh, Nantucket got a... Was it a second third, or a third? A third and a fourth? Third and a fourth. So lane three for the 500 free, we want to acknowledge Ashley Wilson swimming with a time of 554. 44 and Lauren Brissett in lane five swimming with a time of 6.02.62. Excellent job, Lauren. You know, the, the mark of a true swimmer in the 500 free, if they break that six minute mark, they're well on their way. And uh, for somebody in her age bracket, nice job. Well, with Nantucket's third and fourth, they only picked up five points there. Nasa picked up 11. So Nasa has made this a, uh, a meet now. It's 58 Nantucket, 55 Nasa. Just as Coach Jim Pagato was saying and Natalie Thompson, this was going to be a close meet. And it's probably going to really come down to the final event of the day as many of these close meets that we've had in the past have, which has been the 400 freestyle relay. But right now we are watching on the men's side the 500 yard freestyle relay. Callahan Bartlett in lane five, Paul Ziegawire in lane three, and Josiah Patterson in lane one. Oh. Speaking about the uh, the big football game this weekend, Paul, I'm going to hit you a little trivia here. Okay. Two football teams mm -hmm. pro in the pros, two football teams in the pros are named after people. Their nickname is people. One is a real person and one is a historical person. Which two teams have nicknames that are named after people? Huh. Can I think on that? You can sneak on that. Two teams we're, we're, are named after Nick people. After people. Gino, Gino could talk about it too. We'll, we'll, let, we'll let you think about it and let people at home think about it. Yeah, we'll let, me, let me think and then at the end of the 500 free I'll try to give you an answer. We'll an answer come up with an answer after the We're going to go through them in my head. Are nicknamed after people. Can I ask you a ridiculous question? Yes. So you're saying like Patriots for example. Is the, is the word Patriot team the nickname yes. or... Pa Patriot is the nickname. Yeah, is that a re is that a real person? Okay. Oh wow! Like the New York Jets is Jet a real person? There's two teams that are named after real people. One of them is a football person, and the other is a historical person. Hmm. Buccaneers. You think about it, Paul. You got about another three minutes. You can have Gino help you if you want. 
Just football, Gino, right? Forty Niners. Forty Niners in the Browns that we're going with. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the Browns are right. Do you know who do you know who who Brown is? No. He was the original owner, Paul Brown. So he's the real person, Paul Brown. The other one is the uh, Buffalo Bills. They were named after the historical person, the uh, Buffalo, Bu Buffalo Bill. Why, why in Buffalo? Why, why did, why did, why did, Probably just because the name is Buffalo, right. Of course I'm thinking 49ers. 40, well, you know, 49ers is a legitimate guess. It, it's people. The Patriots, that's a legitimate guess. That's, that's people too, yeah. All right, I'll get you next time. <laughs> Oh, Dick's got plenty of them. <laughs> I, believe me, I know he does. Right now we're in the 500 free. We are halfway through the men's side of this event. We're watching Callahan Bartlett in lane five, Halsey Eggwire in lane three, and Josiah Patterson in lane one. sporting events doing on the island since I haven't been around. What's going on uh, with basketball? Let's see, the girls, the last I heard, the girls were uh, five and three. We did the girls game uh, Monday night and they won. They went to five and three. I don't I don't believe they've played since. They're playing uh, Sadie. The boys, uh, we haven't seen the boys play yet. We were going to do a boys game last week and they uh, they get postponed to get the high wins, but they won two games in a row, so they're up to three and four. They're trying to get back to 500. The hockey team is, is rough. We've, we've been at a couple of hockey games, and they haven't won yet. They're 0-7. And uh, they played a great game last week, but they lost 3-2. to two. So not only uh, they, they haven't got a win yet, they're, they're snake bitten there, you know, when, when you play well and still lose 3-2. to two. Yeah, that's going to that's be hard, especially when they're... And on, on the swimming side here, both of these teams are undefeated in league play, but both of them lost to Duxbury, a real good swim program. I think the boys are 2-2 two and two overall, and... A, the girls are two and one or three and one overall, but they're both two and zero oh in the league. So right now, the winner of tonight's boys and girls goes into first place, and the and the uh, the loser goes into second place. Well, is this part of the BDC? I forget the name of the league, but that sounds familiar to me. Yes. Right now in this swim, we're giving the nod to the Nauset swimmers. This is. I have to say, each swimmer in the pool looks tired at this stage in the game of this event. Not one swimmer is really sticking out to me in this event. Perhaps they've gone out into such a blistering pace as I'm looking at the times in the board. Well, they they're certainly are laboring. And again, you got to check and see if they were in other races. You know, if you're just doing this one race, I suppose you, you have a lot more energy. But if you've done a relay here or there, you've done one other race, you're already used up a lot of energy. And, and this, as you say, really ties you out. I think in swimming, I don't, I don't know what the rule is now, but you can do four events, I think. Three yes. individual and one as a part of a relay. Right. There's, there's the bell. Much better than the uh, the old gun lady. I like the bell. Absolutely. In the bell lap in first place, we are looking at Nosset. In first place, Nosset in second place, followed by Lane. Shane, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, Shane's younger, but he does play. He was on the JVs. Well, an athletic family nonetheless, but Nossin finishing in first place in lane four at the time of 5.56.90, followed by another Nossin swimmer in lane two at the time of 6.03.78. So Nantucket gets a third. Third with Halsey Aguirre in lane three, swimming in a time of 6.13.94. Halsey was a diver in the past. Yes. Excellent swim by Halsey Aguirre. That's the first time I've seen him in that event. So Nantucket's going to be picking up a third, fourth, and a fifth. you got to give these swimmers a lot of credit. It's really hard when you're swimming, as you all well know, and you know that your peers have finished ahead and you're trying to just finish strong. 
Nantucket gets a third and a fourth, but I think Noss is going to steal the fifth here. That's a, one of the first times they've done that today. Yep, you're absolutely right. Noss is getting the fifth. Josiah Patterson, good enough 